Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. This time let's take a look at best strategy board games about ancient history. So the emphasis of this episode will be on the strategic gameplay, ancient history up to the collapse of the Roman Empire and the games that are played on actual game board, excluding card games. So let's start with the oldest game in this top, the Republic of Rome. This game is massive and quite complex. Uh, it simulates the politics of the Roman state uh, during the Republic and uh, can take hours to complete because uh, it gives you a huge quantity of uh, possible actions uh, during every turn. The players uh, take the part of various factions uh, competing uh, for a control of a Senate. And even if it's split into phases, uh, you'll be uh, continuously reminding yourself of many shifting actions uh, at your disposal, waiting for uh, your opponent's next move while uh, leveraging your own resources. So it's quite a massive game. But ultimate goal of the game is uh, to get your faction uh, to be the most powerful in the realm. And uh, the game is really great. Next one is uh, Hannibal Rome vs. Cottage. It is a unique card-driven game designed uh, for two players, uh, immersing you in the epic struggle between ancient Rome and Cottage. It is a political and military game that reflects a clash between these two powerful forces, uh, while military actions are employed as a last resort when political dominance uh, cannot be achieved through are the means. Uh, the game utilizes the immensely popular card system which was uh, initially introduced in Avalon Hill game We the People. Uh, the game employs uh, strategic cards uh, for various uh, purposes uh, such as uh, maneuvering uh, generals, uh, recruiting new troops, reinforcing existing armies, uh, gaining political control over the provinces uh, involved in the war, and introducing historically significant events as well. Additionally, when armies confront each other on the battlefield, a separate set of cards uh, called battle cards uh, is used to determine the victory. Uh, both players uh, strive uh, for victory by achieving supremacy in both military and political dominance. Uh, it is worth to mention that uh, in celebration of the game's uh, 20th uh, anniversary in 2018, a new and improved version called Hannibal and Hamilcar has been released. Uh, this revised version is uh, even better than the original game and uh, not only re-implements uh, the original Hannibal uh, Rome vs. Cottage game, but also incorporates uh, the extension uh, Hamilcar Fast Punic War. Uh, so these both games are fantastic. I highly recommend checking them out. And if you want to get these games, uh, then I would suggest you to hurry up because uh, their stock is running out and to make your life easier i left amazon links in description so you can find these wonderful games and other games with these so check them out but now let's carry on with Tekenu obelisk of the sun great game about the egyptian gods where the game board is divided into six sections each associated with an Asian Egyptian god, such as uh, Horus, Ra, Hathor, Thoth, and Osiris. In the center stands uh, an impressive obelisk that casts uh, its shadow onto different parts of the board. As a result, uh, the area around the obelisk is divided into sunny, shaded and dark sections uh, depending on how the obelisk uh, casts its shadow at the particular moment. Um, as the game progresses the sun's rotation alters uh, which sections are sunny, shaded or dark. Uh, the game takes place over multiple rounds uh, where players draft dice and perform actions associated with the value of the die and the section uh, for which the die was drafted. So. A strongly dice-driven game and very interesting one. 
Next one is Cyclades, a very popular competitive area control game where you race against the opponents uh, to become the first uh, to establish two cities in Cyclades and uh, to do so you must seek the favor of the gods. To achieve victory you must show respect to all the gods, necessitating players uh, to make offerings to each of the five gods uh, in the rotating fashion. During each turn, players compete to gain the favor of the gods, but uh, only one player can secure the favor of each god in the turn, and they are restricted uh, to seeking the favor of only one god per turn. Cool and easy game for two to five players uh, with the nice miniatures and uh, approximate playtime around a bit more than hour. Very recommended one. So let's carry on with the Clash of Cultures uh, Monumental Edition. I have chose this edition because it brings back the classic game uh, of exploration, expansion and uh, development uh, with a Clash of Cultures based game and the Civilization and Aztec expansions in one box. In this game you must grow your civilization now from a single settlement to a mighty empire, explore their surroundings, advance uh, your culture through uh, city building, technology research, uh, conquest and building wonders. And this edition includes highly crafted miniatures of seven wonders of the world. Uh, the game uh, features a modular board, uh, 48 uh, distinct advances, uh, seven mighty wonders and loads of miniatures and cards. Really, really cool and interesting game. Next one is Kemet, Blood and Sand. It is a newly revised edition of uh, Kemet original game and this one is an even more authentic depiction of uh, ancient Egypt uh, as its uh, previous edition. Game offers you to engage in fierce battles, uh, ascending uh, to the status of uh, an Egyptian god, uh, unlock the gates of your city and uh, command your troops uh, to wage uh, all-out war, asserting your dominance uh, as the supreme ruler of ancient Egypt. This edition showcases uh, fresh artwork and enhanced gameplay, uh, featuring new user-friendly rules, enhanced uh, through collaboration input uh, from the board game geek community. Among the most notable upgrades uh, is a redesigned map uh, with an intriguing twist, uh, larger and uh, more intricate uh, detailed figurines and various other delightful components. Well, definitely really nice game to try. Let's carry on with the Command and Colors Ancients. It is an amazing historical war game that uh, covers a vast period uh, from uh, 3000 BC to 400 AD, showcasing 15 pivotal battles uh, from the dawn of military history to the opening of the Dark Ages, each emphasizing important terrain features and historical troop deployments. Really, really cool game. Uh, the game scale varies depending on uh, scenario, with some battles representing entire legions of uh, fighters uh, with a single infantry unit, uh, while others focus on just a few warriors uh, per unit. Uh, nevertheless, the game requires a high tactical management of uh, strengths and limitation of the different units, uh, their weaponry, terrain and historical context. Uh, so, when you will try this game, you will see for yourself uh, and I can guarantee if you are strategy and tactical gaming lover, then you will admire this game. It is really great one. I love that command card system serves as a key drive for a movement introducing a true fog of war and uh, presenting players uh, with both challenges and opportunities as well. Uh, there are four types of uh, command cards. Uh, leadership cards, uh, section cards, troop cards uh, and tactic 
cards, each contributing to the strategic depth of the game. The battle dice system efficiently resolves combat very fast, featuring symbols like light, medium, heavy, lead, flag and swords. While the game mechanics are straightforward, achieving victory will require players to employ strategic card play, some military tactics, well-timed dice rolling, and aggressive yet adaptive battle plan. Yeah, very nice game and one of my top three favorites from this list. Next one is Ra. It is an ancient Egypt themed auction and set collection game where on each 10 players uh, can acquire sets of tiles uh, using their bidding tiles uh, represented as a sun. The tiles serve various purposes uh, such as uh, providing uh, immediate points, preventing negative points uh, for lacking uh, certain types of tiles uh, at the end of a round or awarding points after final round. The game is divided into three rounds. The main goal of the game is to expand their power and fame through different means, uh, such as influencing um, pharaohs, uh, constructing monuments, uh, farming along the Nile, paying to the gods, and advancing the technology and culture of their civilization. Overall, it is a very nicely crafted game with the cool components, easy to learn, and swift gameplay. Really cool game. Let's carry on with Ank, Gods of Egypt. In the game you take on the role of deities uh, from ancient Egypt, uh, engaging in a fierce uh, competition to establish their supremacy. Uh, their objective is uh, to collect um, devotion points, uh, which can be acquired through various means, uh, such as uh, recruiting warriors, uh, controlling obelisks, uh, temples and pyramids, uh, as well as uh, building a devoted following. Game has expensive board, captivating miniatures and intriguing array of monsters and godly powers. Really cool game. Next one is Hadrian's Wall. In this game, you take on the role of a Roman general uh, placed in charge of uh, the construction of a legendary Hadrian's Wall. Yes, the same one uh, from ancient times uh, when Romans tried to wall them off from restless northern Britain regions. Um, game has six rounds, uh, during which players uh, will construct uh, their fort and wall, uh, man defenses, and attract civilians uh, by building. Uh, services and providing entertainment, all while defending the honor of the Roman Empire from warring picked tribes. Our main aim in the game is to accumulate the most glory, valor, discipline and respect. Next one is Trajan. The game is set in ancient Rome where players aim to enhance their influence and authority in various aspects of Roman society, including politics, trade, military dominance and other significant elements of the culture. The game revolves around the central mechanism reminiscent of Pete and the Pebble games. Each player has six actions at their disposal, building, trading, acquiring tiles uh, from the forum, utilizing the military, exerting influence in Senate and placing uh, Trajan tiles on their tableau. The main objective of the game is to acquire victory points uh, using available actions while avoiding penalties. For example, in the forum, players uh, must anticipate the demands of the public uh, to meet them and avoid suffering penalties. In the Senate, acquiring influence uh, translates into the votes on victory point uh, related laws uh, with the goal to securing the law that uh, align with uh, their long term plans. And for example, military action allows players uh, to seize control of uh, European regions earning more points uh, for uh, regions uh, that are farther away from the Rome. So, quite interesting strategic game. Next one is uh, Tigris and Euphrates. Uh, game is set in 
ancient Mesopotamia region where you will assume control over building civilization through tile placement. Uh, place will utilize uh, four different uh, leaders uh, to collect uh, various victory points in their respective category. Interesting feature that stands out is that at the end of the game, players uh, will only score points in their weakest category. Yeah, in the weakest, not strongest. This means that you must diversify your playing style and spread your attention to all categories. Um, Conflict is inevitable in this game, as civilizations will eventually meet on the board. Therefore, players must be strategic to ensure that their leaders survive. So, a nice and popular Eurogame with many strategies to choose from. Next one is Teotihuacan City of the Gods. This one is the best strategy board game that takes you back in times and lets you build one of the greatest cities in Mesoamerica. Uh, you must use your worker dice uh, to rise the legendary and breathtaking Pyramid of the Sun while also learning a bit more about this fascinating ancient civilization. Players must strategize wisely while managing their workforce and resources while also building houses for residents and developing new technologies as well. You also have to try increase wealth to be able to please the gods so you can build your pyramid in the center of the city. Very nicely crafted and highly ranked game. Very recommended one. Next one is Zolkin, the Mayan calendar. This game is amazing. It introduces an innovative game mechanic, so-called dynamic worker placement. Place uh, represent uh, different Mayan tribes and uh, strategically place their workers on interconnected giant gears. As the gears rotate, the workers uh, move to various action spots. During their turn, players have two options. They can either put one or more workers on the lower visible spot of the gears by paying with in-game currency, or retrieve one or more workers. When retrieving the workers, specific actions are performed based on the workers' position. The actions became more valuable as they are located further along the gears, encouraging players to make time work in their favor. However, they cannot skip their turn as well. If all their workers are on the gears, they must retrieve some. Uh, the game concludes after completing a revolution of the central Zolkin gear. Uh, victory can be achieved through various strategies, uh, such as uh, pleasing the gods uh, by placing crystal skulls, or for example, constructing temples. Uh, but there are many other paths uh, to succeed in this game as well. Overall, a very nice game. One of my favorite games in this list. By the way, guys, uh, which one of these games is your favorite? Uh, which one did you like most? Uh, write that in the comments. Uh, and by the way, these games are available on Amazon. I left the uh, Amazon links in the description so you can find these wonderful games with these. But now let's carry on with uh, Concordia. It is a wonderful game that puts you in a charge of Roman Empire. Concordia is a strategy game reflecting a peace trade and cooperation experienced during the Roman Empire's heights. In this game, as owner of the Roman trading house, you produce common items uh, such as cloth, uh, bricks uh, and wine, expand your uh, production, uh, establish colonies, uh, outpace your opponents and uh, please the gods, uh, because your devotion uh, to the gods and uh, sacrifices may as well determine your victory. You must use cards to complete actions and collect victory points. 
The arrangement of the cards is dynamic, so there is a different experience each and every time you play this wonderful game. And in my opinion, this is a best strategy board game about ancient history in this top. So what do you think? Do you have any other titles to suggest or bits and pieces to add about these wonderful games? Go ahead and share your opinion in the comments. If you found this episode useful, give it a like and please subscribe to the channel and hit notification bell to be always informed about new episodes. That's it for today. Thank you for watching, have a fun playing these wonderful games and stay tuned for the next episode.